the House of Representatives has called on the federal government to resuscitate ailing and comatose industries nationwide by approval of a financial bailout so they can recommence operations. The motion was moved by Honorable James Falake from Lagos State, urging the federal government to do so in the interest of millions of jobless Nigerians left without any means of employment. While other lawmakers supported the motion, they also urged the federal government to improve power generation and focus on Nigeria's education sector as supportive measures to ensure the industries function efficiently after they have recommenced operations. The house knows an alarming 1.3 million new graduates pass out every year from the over 170 accredited universities for National Youth Service scheme. It is estimated that there are about 20 million employed graduates in Nigeria at the moment. Also knows that the above number does not include those who are excluded from the national service on account of age or who attend other institutions of higher learning that do not present candidates for national service, such as holders of OND and NC, and those who attend the national open universities. The House therefore resolves as follows. All the federal governments want to initiate a process of identifying specific and critical industries in the country that will be part of the bailout program. Mr. Speaker, I rise to strongly support the motion moved by honorable colleague with two reasons. One, I could remember, Mr. Speaker, when I was in primary school in 1980, for we used to visit Zaki Bottling Company in Wurno, Sokoto States. That company, that industry is no more now. I know Funtua Textile Industry is no more. I know Funtua Red Breast Industry is no more. And I want to remind Nigerians that President, former President Olujiko Obasanjo recapitalized banks. He gave them bailouts, he gave them funds, that's why most of them now they are very strong. And I know recently President Muhammadu Buhari gave a bailout to states to pay salaries and allowances. We need a skill-based education that will make us to be productive because in modern day, what we try to drive is knowledge-based economy. We have young, smart people, but if our educational system is properly structured, it would help us to create the economy that we would desire. There are industrial policies that are there in place. There are so many incentives that have already been given by central banks, which we don't know how they are functioning. Even if governments provide a bailout, Obas and just government, and I think Er Adwa, did a bailout program for the textile industry. It was not enough because as much as the finances were provided then, the issue of power, remain sacrosanct and the industry couldn't survive. They took the loan, unable to pay, and again went into recession. 